I've been a part of the Division community for years now. I think we can all agree that ever since we first saw that Dark Zone trailer for Division 1, we were all hooked to the franchise. What seems to be all gaming fun, however, quickly gave this franchise PvP the reputation of being toxic. Whether because someone got mad their loot was taken from them in the DZ, or maybe some people were using a cheese build, a cheese method, or they were just grouping up together and ganging on other people. I think we can all agree that there is some level of hostility that exists within this gaming space. Not that it is all wrong and terrible, it is just the way the game mode is built. It is the nature of the dark zone. It doesn't need a fine print for you to know what it is, everyone knows that this environment is a dog eat dog world. Some people would call it unfair, some would call it a terrible way to play a game, but I can assure you, if any of you have ever played DC Universe online, you will know that PvP hostility in a large open space in Division franchise is not even up to that game's level of carnage. But still, that's why most of us core fans of this game love it, because of that PvP experience. We may hate the interaction, but it is one of those things that brings a little bit of light and fun to the game. I think the problem here arises when people would consider a player versus player interaction in the dark zone as something toxic and then request that the content creator or the streamer be banned for it. It's like being offended by the way someone talked to you in an old Call of Duty lobby from 2009. I bring this up because I was watching one of the Division 2 creators last night by the name of You Know The Vibes and I realized that I couldn't watch him on Twitch anymore and later on found out that he was suspended because someone reported him on Twitch and you guys already know, the Twitch community guidelines only applies to those they want. I think it's even more outrageous because you have a group of people who collectively did it together and even after they did it, they were making fun of the whole situation, letting others know that they are reporting him, they got him suspended and if they want him to get banned for longer, they can do it. It is just incredible how a PvP interaction with another group mixed with another streamer has now resulted in someone being suspended on a platform. Granted, I don't expect the Twitch community moderators to have any gumption on what a Division Dark Zone entails, but from what I've seen from watching multiple streamers that streams this game, trash talk is part of how you play the game. And of course, this will get you banned, which is also part of the nail on the coffin when it comes to streaming this game on that platform. As an equal opportunist, I don't discriminate against anyone. I have watched multiple Division 2 streamers and I have chimed in whenever I could. And even when things are not going well between people, I still show support to both of them. I may not comment, but I still watch their content and hit that thumbs up because that is what it's all about. The banter in this game is part of the fun. Gaming makes most of us angry at each other at that moment, but at the end of everything, we all squash our beef and hop back in for another round. That's just how most of us are. The problem occurs when community members start to get beside themselves and try to play God over other people's content. If people in your chat says they will report someone or get someone banned, it's up to you or the streamer to encourage them not to do so in the first place. While they might still go ahead and do it either way, the initial attempt to stop them is really what counts and that should be one of the things that you should do, not just a follow up. This was with another streamer and I'm not going to drop their name because they might try to come in and try to claim the video or get it taken down. Within 24 hours, I have seen streamers egging on and passive aggressively encouraging the intent to shut down this man's stream. The level of sensitivity among our generation has become so fragile that a PvP encounter will get people so riled up that they would attempt to get you banned. A lot of you already know this man is applying for a Twitch partnership and you know this suspension will put a dent and affect the review of his channel. Reporting someone in PvP experience is like DDoSing someone because they did something that you did not like or they were better than you in a PvP space. Once again, some of you wouldn't last a second in the old Call of Duty servers. The sheer amount of raw banter in those lobbies will offend you to the core, to the part where some of you might even have to grow up. What someone said in the heat of battle is not always a representation of who they are deep down. It's just a heated moment. That is what it is. If you ever played sports and the coach cussed at you and yelled at you, does that mean he is a bad person? No, 
It's just a heated situation and there was something that he wants corrected or something that he is mad about. I know who the culprits are of this issue, but I'm not going to say their name or play their footage. As I explained earlier, this is YouTube. People can come in and try to claim a video or take it down, but we just have to do better. And I think Massive might want to contact Switch and let Switch know about the nature of the game mode because if this doesn't stop, more and more people will get suspended or even banned on Twitch because of the way people play the Dark Zone. I know some of you may not like the PvP experience, but it's just part of the core of the game. Now, once again, I'm not here to pick sides on who is right and who is wrong. I support anyone who is hustling, grinding, streaming, whatever you do. Just don't encourage this type of behavior because of a heated PvP moment. And I have been in the content creation world long enough to know when someone is trying to get another person banned because they are jealous or believe that the other person is competition. I've seen it from A to Z. I know what is going on. I wasn't born yesterday and I know what it is, but I will just say be better. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.